I'm working on making superconducting molybdenum nitride thin films with the goal of using them to fabricate superconducting nanowire single photon detectors. I'm Lily Hallett and I'm working for Professor Carl Berggren this summer. We were interested in molybdenum nitride because it is predicted to transition to its superconducting state at a high temperature relative to other single photon detector materials. So now I've locked the sample holder into place and I'm going to lift it back up into the main chamber so I can do a deposition. I've been working to optimize deposition conditions for molybdenum nitride in the sputtering system in our lab by varying all the possible parameters like temperature, pressure, substrate, gas flow, and discharge current. I've learned about the physics of superconductors and the formation of crystal structures and the deposition of thin films. I have been working on increasing the critical temperature of films that are approximately 5 nanometers thick. This is desirable because it takes less energy to cool the device down to its operating temperature. So it looks like the screws are lined up with a slot in the driver so I can continue lowering the chuck. The structure that is predicted to have high critical temperatures is thermodynamically unstable and generally forms with a large number of defects, so it is difficult to achieve the predicted values. However, even if the high critical temperatures are not achieved, the material could still have interesting properties when used to fabricate detectors. Something I have learned that is extremely important is to do a lot of background reading on your project. I tried to find every paper I could on molybdenum nitride. I wanted to know who else had tried to make this material and what results they achieved. Learning how to organize and understand this information was important in making decisions about what experiments to perform.